Hi guys, welcome back to Tech with TJ, and today I'm going to review the Flint 2 for y'all. It is a Wi-Fi 6 router that is built for home lobbying, gamers, or power users. It has dual 2.5 gigabyte Ethernet ports. It also supports uh, VPN services hosted on it, and it comes pre-installed with OpenWRT. So let's get into the specs and see how it performs. Alright, so here are the specs and features of this router. To get started, it has Wi-Fi 6. It has both channels, of course, the 2.4 and the 5. The difference is 5, you get uh, higher speeds, but not as big of a range. 2.4, you get the, a lot of range, but not as fast as speeds. But it's good to have both. I think most routers have both. Uh, for ports, you get two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports. You also get four one gigabyte Ethernet ports, so you have plenty of um, plenty of room for expansion and things like that. Uh, VPN services you get, as I mentioned, it does have some built-in services that you can host. It's Open VPN and WireGuard. WireGuard, uh, they say, gives you 900 megabits a second for a VPN service, which is very fast. So, uh, I actually use uh. Tail scale, which is in their like beta stage right now, and honestly, I used it just because I already had that set up, and it was easy to just add it. But if I were you, I'd definitely go with AdGuard. That seems to be the most supported for this device. Uh, it has multi WAN uh, failover, so if you're you know one of those power users or just really into networking and have two WAN services, you can set up failover to make sure your router doesn't go down which is very neat especially for this router isn't it's more expensive than a home router but it's not so expensive to where um it's just not as expensive as other routers it's kind of in between where power user and home user uh security it has all the latest security stuff that most routers come with but this one is a little different too because it also has adguard home built in so you can block ads and things like that on your network. All right, so now let's talk about the setup. To get started, it has a, a base. I kind of divided it into a basic user and an advanced user. So for basic users, it's got a web page that's very easy to navigate. Uh, your Wi-Fi setup is not hard at all. It's very clear and defined, and setting it up is not a problem. For your advanced users, like I mentioned, this thing has W, or W, Open WRT installed, which allows you to get all the advanced features that you would want. You could have custom firewall rules. Uh, you can, I mean, anything that you want, you can customize. So it works great for, like I said, basic users and advanced users because if you're a basic user, the web interface is easy. If you're an advanced user, uh, the web interface is still easy, but you know a little bit more about what each uh, setting is. And this thing took me probably about 10 minutes to set up. So, I mean, take that, you know, <laughs> as a grain of salt. Some people might take longer or shorter. I didn't change a lot of settings. Uh, I would say I did more on the basic side than the advanced user side. Uh, as I mentioned, this web interface is really good I really like it it very easy to use I will uh, show pictures of it so that way you can kind of get a note to what everything is and how it looks I did run some speed tests too kind of, of like a basic setup so I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max connected to the uh, 5 gigahertz channel so I should get the fastest fastest speeds possible for it from that and as you can see, I got a 382 download and 437 upload, which that's very good. That's especially for a phone. That's probably what I would expect from this uh, router to perform at. Then I also plugged in my gaming PC to the 2.5 gigabyte port, and I got 936 download and 771 upload. So again, you know that's I mean very good speed. That's uh close to one gig and that's what my plan is so even though I am plugged into the 2.5 gig you're only gonna be as fast as your plan 
So that's something to keep in mind that if you're if you plug it into the 2.5 and you're saying I'm not getting, you know, that full speed, well that's why it's probably cuz your plan is a 1 gig plan. Um but if you transfer files or something like that to a NAS that's inside your home, you should be able to reach those full 2.5 speeds. Um so yeah, so that's probably about all the features and things like that that I have for y'all. I'm going to talk about now the pros and cons with this because there are some cons, I will say that. Not a lot, but just a <laughs> just a little bit. So to start off with the pros though first, uh the VPN's performance, I've had no problem with it, especially with the tail scale like I said, it's in that beta stage and it works perfectly fine. I get fast enough speeds for what I do over a VPN, uh, which is mainly just to access like my um, Jellyfin server and things like that. I don't use it to control PCs or anything like that. So for me, it works perfectly fine. The dual 2.5 gigabit ports and the four 1 gig ports give me a lot of expansion. And if you're also like me and you want like 10 gig and things like that you can check out I have a video on YouTube about a switch that I use that connects everything which is pretty nice it's got good Wi-Fi 6 coverage I've never had it drop in anywhere in my house at all so that's pretty nice uh, like I said all the security features plus built-in ad guard is really nice to have I I really like ad guard it's easy to set up and you can search up like custom lists and things like that that people have already made to block certain types of ads for you. I think that the price to performance is really good in what you're getting, especially because it has open WRT. So as you learn more about networking, this router can you can still use it because it has those advanced features that you might not have known what they were when you first got it. But as you learn, you can... Uh, say oh you know what I do want to change that or something like that which is kind of actually what I've been doing is the more I've learned about networking the I look through the settings and I'll say hey I just learned that or something you know so that's pretty cool but now let's get to the cons of this so as I mentioned about price it has a higher price than like standard routers um, because it I think just because it has a lot of features that aren't on regular home routers I think it's worth it, but I think the price is a little, it's a little too high in my opinion. I do, I wouldn't, I think it should be a hundred dollars or less. I think it's about 130 right now. Um, it's a bit bulkier than other routers too. It, it takes up a, I don't want to make it seem like it's a huge router, but it definitely takes up more room than like a standard router. Uh, the advanced features that I mentioned can definitely be a good and a bad thing because especially if you are like a true like beginner no and don't know a lot about networking the advanced features can look very uh intimidating and might kind of scare you at first because everything like i said can be finely controlled and you might just not be used to that but this router comes kind of where if you're a beginner all you have to do is configure the uh, Wi-Fi stuff and everything else is configured for you. And then as you learn, you can start changing settings. So kind of, I mean, who is this kind of router for? You know, I mean, I've mentioned that it's good for beginners and advanced users. I would say it's, that's probably, it probably made for intermediate kind of where you're, you know, a little bit about networking, but you're leaning more towards the advanced uh, if you're a beginner, I don't want to scare you away from this router, but like I said, those advanced features can look scary at first, but it's not that big of a deal. And if you're just looking for something that's plug and play and you don't really care about any of this, I would definitely look at uh, Asus routers. I've, I had an Asus router before this. Those are the plug and play routers. They're very easy. You can download an app on your phone set them up and you're good these you do have to ha have a little more um, configuration when it comes to uh, setting everything up but not enough to me not enough to where I really care uh, this also doesn't have an app I did forget to mention that that's kind of a con but 
Not really, I guess. I don't. I didn't use an app that much. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. I highly recommend you guys check out this router. I will have an affiliate link below and a non-affiliate link. The affiliate links, um, all that does is it gives me a little bit of money if you decide to purchase this. It's, I forgot how much commission I get on this product exactly, but I want to be honest with you guys and tell you, you know, exactly what the affiliate link does. It doesn't add a cost to it or anything. So if you feel inclined to purchase it from the affiliate link, uh, I appreciate you. And remember to subscribe and comment down below if you would use this router. All right. Thank you guys so much.